Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Greetings, welcome. Howdy. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everyone. So sorry. Hello, team. Hello, Timmy. Hello, Etuk. Welcome. Tuli, love long lady. Welcome. Hello, May. Welcome. Hola, Jide. Welcome. Thank you very much for joining. Hello, Baba Lola. Welcome. I appreciate you. Hello, beauty. Beauty. Hello. Thank you very much. Guys, I'm so sorry. I was out today, you know, and I was delayed. That's the reason why I am late. But I did put out in the notice that I will be late today. But for those who are on the other side of the pond, exactly, uh, precisely, should I say, U.S., North America, you guys will be happy because, you know, you, everyone will be awake and, you know, ready to go. Right. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you. I want to finish Paul today. Otherwise, I would have said, okay, let me just leave it, leave it out and relax. But I want to finish Paul, uh, the video that we started a few days ago. I want us to finish that video. So welcome, guys. Thank you very much. Share, 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 please, so that more people will be able to join us. I think um, it'd be interesting to look at this together again. Um, yes, we started just we started a few days ago, but this particular video, we started this video yesterday. So um, let us just finish this video today. I know you guys have a lot to share with me, and I'm happy for you guys to share what you have, uh, what you want to share. So call Love Lounge Calls. That's Love Lounge Calls if you want to share your thoughts and your opinion. But, you know, I actually, what did I write today? I think in the banner, um, I wrote that um, in in uh, in the cabals, or should I say charlatans, charlatans, use your fashion and trying to rip people off is fraud everything is a fraud this guy sounds like a fraudster that was the that was the um vocabulary that i couldn't find yesterday but i was looking for it i was thinking hmm this paul the way he's all packaged up and the way that he's talking this is you know i know 419 yes that's 419 but i think because he shows an image and also he's talking he's demonstrating he sounds exactly like a froster and that's what i've realized anyway don't take my word for it this is just going by the description of what i can see so um we watch the video together Hello, William. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Hello, Akpabio. Welcome. Plutonic. Welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, who else? Abanabenga. Welcome. Thank you very much for joining. Doris. Welcome. Thank you. Giwa. Okay. Giwa. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Vivian. Thank you, Muyo. Sorry. Uh, Boli Boli. Welcome. Thank you very much for joining. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you. Uluakemi Sogi, welcome. Hello, Wale, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate all of you guys. Please share, share, share uh, so that more people will join us. I'm coming way, way later than I usually do. Yeah, Biju, welcome. Thank you very much. Dorothy, welcome. Thank you. I appreciate you. Um, Monique, welcome. Thank you very much. Abex, uh, Emmanuel, welcome. Uh, Make Wealth, welcome. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please, guys, share this and listen to what and uh, what Plutonic has written in his usual style. Please share, share, and don't be scared of any fake African pastors and your family. Truth matters and Jesus first. Unto freedom, we are called. Absolutely, I love it. Thank you very much, Plutonic. Thank you very much. Hello, Yomi Omede. Welcome. Sunny property, welcome. Thank you very much. You do me welcome. If you're watching later on YouTube, I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Uh, please subscribe to my channel where you are already, so I don't need to tell you what the channels are. Channel um, details are Abosa de welcome. Kizo, welcome. Thank you very much. Emmanuel, welcome. Uh, audio, Odeon, welcome. Helen, welcome. Thank you very much. I appreciate you, guys. Let's go. Um, so, um, is this is Paul Ade Farasi again? So, today I'm going to play that video quickly, and then when I play the video after the video, I'm going to play um, the sermon clip by the Indian guy. I think he's Indian, I'm not sure. I'm going to play that, and then after I play that, we'll do the analysis. Okay, so guys, let's go. Uh, Please feel free to share your own opinion, your thoughts. Remember, we're in Love Lounge, and this is a place where you can share your honest opinion and thoughts. Um, people might criticize you for it, and you can also criticize other people. Just know that unto freedom you're called, and be able to back up whatever you say, and be able to take it as well. Sometimes some people will give it to you straight here. Uh, we'll give it to you straight, okay? Thank you. I appreciate you. All right, Tola, welcome. Sunshine, welcome. Omobola, welcome. Thank you. All right, let's go, guys. Tuka, welcome. Right. 
All right, I'm going to start now. Uh, where is the video? Here it is. So I'm going to play Paul in a little bit of a higher speed. Well, not too high, just a, a, a little bit of speed. And my priest. High priest. This high priest is a man. But he is also God and was always God, but also became a man. His going forth have been of old. He showed himself alive to Abraham, to Moses, to Ezekiel, to the elders, to the patriarchs. Then he now came through a, a, a woman's womb, lived before us, died, got up after three days. He did not die permanently. Showed himself alive by many fallible things over 40 days, assembled the church together, commissioned them, told them they're blessed. And then he went up to heaven. He said, wait here in Jerusalem for the promise of the Father. Who is the promise of the Father? The Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is the one who has all the promises. And he who has the promises is inside the believer. Yeah? He is now in heaven's highest. This is the organized church. This is the priesthood of all believers at its oversight level. Apostle, prophet, pastor, teacher, evangelist. Yeah. Do you get it? Oh, next week. I will leave that one for next week. Listen carefully. God created the universe. He took a tithe. The Milky Way. God created the Milky Way. He took a tithe. The galaxy. Our galaxy. God created the galaxy. He took a tithe. Our solar system. God created our solar system. He took a tithe. Planet Earth. God created planet Earth. He took a tithe. Israel. The fertile crescent. Israel. God created Israel. He took a tithe. Jerusalem. The capital city. The city of David. The place where God landed. God created Jerusalem. He took a tithe. The temple mount. God created the temple mount. He took a tithe. The temple God created the temple, he took a tithe, the Holy of Holies. God created the Holy of Holies using man's hands. He took a tithe, the seat of mercy, the Ark of the Covenant. It was a pattern of the seat of mercy in heaven. God created all species of being. He took a tithe, the family of God, which is comprised of angels, the living, and the dead in Christ. God created the family of God. He took a tithe, Israel. God created Israel, the Israelis, took a tithe, Levi. In another conjecture or in another reality, God created humanity. He took a tithe, the church. God created the church, took a tithe, the eldership. God created the eldership, took a tithe, the apostle. God created the church, took a tithe. The head of the church, Christ, another tithe. A tithe, a tithe. The tithe now takes a lamb. Under Levi, the lamb he would take would be animated species. A lamb. Man. But in the new covenant, our lamb was also God. For he had told Abraham, I will provide myself as the lamb. So what we see on earth is a tithe, holding a tithe, going into a tithe. It causes an explosion which, in which God says, I will open the heavens. I will pour you out such blessing you won't have room enough to receive it. You will not cast your young before their time. The devourer is rebuked. He will not destroy the fruit of your vine. Other nations will call you blessed and I will make you a delightful land. Because a tithe, carry the tithe to the tithe. In heavenly realities, the tithe is the throne room of God. The seat of grace. Not the seat of law, not the seat of judgment. The seat of grace. Grace did not extricate judgment. It satisfied judgment. So that it could provide mercy to you and I. Hallelujah. For mercy jumped in the way. When judgment said I will strike. Mercy said strike me. And mercy took the blow. But mercy is not stronger than. Or judgment is not stronger than mercy. Mercy went down to the ground. But because mercy is stronger than judgment. Mercy came back alive again. And said judgment has been satisfied. Therefore man you are acquitted. And I proclaim you the righteousness of God in Christ. That he did as a tithe, carrying a tithe to the tithe, which is the mercy seat. And there he said to the Father, It is finished, it is all done. Therefore, my friend, because God's tithe, he gave his best. What's wrong with you giving your best? And because he gave his best, you have the best. But I don't want you to have the best and never possess it. You have to possess. Your possession. Take your possession. Learn the tithe. My final scripture. Thank you, gentlemen. I 
priest. Ser- I'm my priest. Seriously, have you ever seen anybody chat so much gibberish? Have you ever seen anyone say so much? I mean, talk in so much gibberish before? It is obvious that these charlatans, they don't know what they're talking about. But what they have is the ability to just speak. And you have to... De- Look how successful somebody... Well, when I say successful, please, well, I have that success, success with a quote, okay? So it doesn't really mean that he's successful in the real, real way that you should be successful. But look how he's able to scam so many people just because he can speak. Even though he's talking tosh, people are still even clapping for him. Again, there'll be doctors, there'll be lawyers, there'll be professors in there. And they hear, you see, man of God, religion, Christianity, Islam, all those things are licenses for people to do whatever they want. You cannot believe, I I mean, I can't even believe what I'm hearing. It's just, the, the, the things are not coherent. He's almost talking like a drunkard. He's contradicting himself. You know, why do, do, do we have to pay for what God already paid for? So let's go by your words, Paul, okay? So with all these galaxies and places that God has already um, taken tithes, right? So if our father has already paid tithes, he's already bought the land, he's already paid his due, why then does the children and the children and the children and children have to continue to pay? Who did? I mean, the whole thing don't even make sense. You're misrepresenting even yourself. If you're even, rep- I, I just don't get it. Do you not listen to your own videos? You know, I will give you guys a, an advice. Okay, so this is a free consultation to all of you nuisance, all of you dingbats, pastors, preachers, bishop, go. It's just total nonsense. Let me give you an advice. What you should do is when you play, when you do the video. Have a half a day, sit down and review it with a group of people, okay? And before you put it out, because I'm so, I'm, I'm, I'm tired of seeing nuisance. is re- misrepresenting Africans. These are the so-called best. These are the elites of Africa, the, of Nigeria. And they can't even put things together. Paul, what are you saying? Don't you see that you're contradicting yourself on one hand and on the other hand, you even in, you, even if you look on a spiritual and religion or whatever you want to call it, you are also contradicting that God. You're making that God seem bad. After it, it's like you as a father, after you have paid for something for your children, like Jesus paid for us, did everything. Why the heck do we also have to pay for it? That is so messed up. It's disgusting. Thinking, that thinking mentality is, honestly, ole, bye-bye. Thank you, Rita. Rita, you're superb. You know when to say ole, bye-bye. You're chatting gibberish. I just, I mean, I've never seen something like this before. Border dash, that's it. I cannot understand. Who are the people that put it, please, if you're in that congregation that day and you're clapping, seriously, I don't know what's happened to your brain. Pick, pick your brain up on the way out and don't go back there. Seriously, there's something seriously wrong. If you can't say anything wrong, the whole thing doesn't make sense and you're clapping for him. Why? Why are you doing that? Do you know the slavery of the mind is far, far worse than your body being enslaved in, in, in captivity? If your mind is messed up, you're nothing. You're not human anymore. Once somebody has been able to capture your mind like this, um, like this gibberish speaker called, that call himself Paul Ade Pharisee, then, you know, what do you have left? You, I mean, how do we, no wonder Nigeria is the way it is. How do people function in Nigeria if these are the best of the people that are in Nigeria? I just don't understand. I don't get it. Dor- Dorothy. The sad story is that people who majored in sciences are still fooled by these dingbats. Absolutely. It's very saddening. But anyway, guys, I'm going to play this. The reason I'm playing this, guy is that I just want you all to see the truth. Should people cheat you know, God? what? Yep, you have cheated me. Let so me pause. Okay, so this guy, his name apparently is Zach Poonin. I don't know him. I think he's Indian. He's an older guy. 
Um, and in my opinion, these are the things that I'm expecting from Adeboye, you know, uh, Bishop of Doom and Gloom, um, that called himself Bishop of Prosperity. Oh, yeah, uh, what's his name again? Um, uh, oh, oh, yeah, oh, lady, no, I don't want to say Ole Dipo. What's his name again? Uh, I can't remember. Oh, yeah, Dipo. Oh, yeah, Dipo. That's it. So the Bishop of Doom and Gloom, Oye Depo, this are the, because they be older, aren't they? You would expect them to come out and say the truth like this, and don't not put this course amongst the children or amongst the younger ones. They're not our father, so they can piss off, really. You know, I'm sorry if you guys think my language is bad. I'm so sorry. I'm going to improve on my language. I'm trying to improve on my language. So these people, they are just dead. They don't do nothing. They just take all your money and then lie to you that they are assistant God or they've got some special power with God or say special arrangements with God. They don't have any arrangements with God. They're just lying. They're just aggrandizing themselves. You know, I doubt, I don't know. I'm just saying, okay, don't quote me. If you want to quote me, quote me. To be honest, I care less. But I doubt if God even recognized them. People on earth, they, they do, the mumu in Nigeria do, but I don't think God recognized them because the, the opposition of God, I don't think God recognized them in the way that we expect him to. Of course, we're all children of God and we're all sons and daughters, but you have free will. I think they've decided just like Lucifer to use their free will to do whatever they want to do with it. Totally disgusting. So this is another man that doesn't have two heads. That the boy, this guy have one head like you. Oh yeah, they put this guy have one head like you. He is reading his Bible. I don't know what you guys read, you know. But because you're charlatans, you're cabals, you want to take people's money by force. You're greedy. You're beggars. You say otherwise from what the Bible says. But here he is. This is another man. He has no allegiance. At least you know he's not related to Dr. Sunday because you guys say, oh, it's Dr. Sunday, blah, blah, blah. Nuisance. You know, Dr. Sunday's, <laughs> you know what? Just don't let me even say anything. You know, the proof is in the pudding. The, 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 the way that things is revealed is, is totally, um, it's an amazing way that people is now is now opening. Thanks to a, a few people that helped us, Dr. Sunday, Daddy Freeze, and other people that are helping us to reveal the truth and to make us think. You know, I love that series with Dr. Sunday where the thinking series. So if you're out there, okay, let me tell you, if I'm able to say anything and I'm being bold, yes, it is God. And the same God gave you and I the same thing equally, okay? But I further learned the truth by watching and listening to Dr. Sunday Adelaja. So I'm going to urge you here, if you've never heard his name before, if you've never seen his video before, go on YouTube. One of the series that, that I love, I will tell you two of the series that I love, is the Thinking Series. If you know the thing, if you watch the Thinking Series and you learn from that Thinking Series, you have the ability to develop yourself in analyzing things, in knowing what is right and what is wrong, in assessing the evidence before you, you know. So go and watch uh, that video is available on Sunday at the large official. That's on YouTube. Secondly, right, my favorite, my other favorite is the truth series. You know, the truth series absolutely liberated me. So if you're watching this later, I would urge you again, those two series are my favorite. Some people said they love the prayer series. I, 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 I watch the prayer series as well, but my favorite for where I am now and what I want to understand and how I want to represent God, I actually got that knowledge and ability, um, to assess through the thinking series and the truth series liberated me. You know, I was totally free. I thought I was a truthful person that I knew the truth, but until I, le I learned from the truth series, yeah, honestly, I didn't know anything and I did not know that I didn't know anything. And yet I am still learning. I'm still, I still don't know anything. So guys, please, I'm just sharing that with you before we move on. So here we go. Let's go um, with this um, man telling the truth about tithes. Should people cheat God? Yet you have cheated me. So where did we cheat you? You cheated me in tithes and offerings. This is the favorite verse of many pastors. Hmm. Bring the tithes into the storehouse, verse 10. And if you don't do that, you will be cursed. If you do it, I'll open the windows of heaven for you. Do you know that tithing is not even mentioned once after the day of Pentecost, when the new covenant was instituted? Something more...
you know, I would like, honestly, I know I've just, I said this earlier, but I would just like Adeboye to come out with his fake humbling self, like, oh, daddy, gun, gang, gang, you know, to just come out, even if he's fake, come and tell one truth, even if you don't want to, just pick one truth about this and say, even just do what this guy said alone, that tithing is only mentioned once, or is not mentioned once after the Pentecost. If you just say that alone, at least, you know. But if you don't want to do you don't have to add the boy. I know you're a charlatan, so keep on being charlatan. More difficult than tithing is mentioned after that. Giving. And what do we have to give first? Sorry, guys. I just read Damilola that says that can Wale be blocked? Yes, Wale, you heard, okay? I don't know what's wrong with you. Maybe you're bored or something. You have heard Damilola's request will be granted. So... Enjoy your few minutes of fame on this platform today. And you, Damilola's request have been granted. Wale, goodbye. All right, let's go. Our bodies. As tithing was emphasized in the Old Testament, presenting your bodies is emphasized in the New Testament. This, just like they offered a lamb in the Old Testament, and the offer of Jesus was offered for us in the New Testament, just like they had a day of rest called the Sabbath in the Old Testament. And in the New Testament, we have an inward rest. In the Old Testament, they offered a tithe. In the New Testament, we offer our body. Romans 12, 1. I beseech you, brethren, by the mercies of God, not present your tithes, but present your bodies, a living sacrifice to God. Tell me, what does it mean to offer your body? That means I give my eyes to God and I never want to use it for myself again. Is that easier? Or is it easier to give 10% of your income to God? You tell me. Any day, giving 10% of your income is easier. That's why people talk about tithing. And usually a lot of people who take that verse from the Old Testament, it's because those preachers themselves are lovers of money and they want the tithe from everybody. And that's how these pastors become rich. See, if 10 people give one-tenth of their income, you got one man's salary, right? Simple multiplication. Arithmetic. 10 into 10% is 100%. So 10 people give their tithes, you get one man's income. That's enough to support a pastor. When 100 people give their tithes, what happens to this pastor? He becomes a millionaire. This is what's happening. This is not, this is Old Testament. I will curse you. In the New Testament, it says, give your body. Let me tell you that. God doesn't want your money, He wants your body. And when you give your body, then give as you feel happy to give. Okay. I hope that liberates a lot of you. Yes, it does liberate a lot of us. Thank you very much. So guys, you know, if you want this part of the video, you can actually cut when, whenever you want. You know, so that you can share with other people and they can also learn and be liberated. You know, so guys, um, please um, share this. I'm, I'm, I'm just, uh, hold on. Wait. Why am I doing that? Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, I just, I, I just, I w yes, I've done it. I've deleted Wally. I blocked him. Nuisance. Anyway, let's go, guys. Um, thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so, you know, one thing I also want to say, you know, what is it about us, about um, us as Africans? Or you know, maybe it's not African. I don't know. I might be wrong here, okay? Please don't, um, just hear me out. What is it about us that we don't accept the truth when it's told by us? And then we have to put, give different, okay, I think I can answer that question. I think so. What I wanted to ask you guys is that, you know, why is it that this guy have to speak for some people to even be accepting it? You know, this guy is a stranger. And I'm, I'm thinking that we like other people, or we like maybe um, like our colonial masters in those days to tell us what to do before we know what is right to do. You, you know, because Dr. Sonny shared this extensively. You know, the truth. Daddy Freeze shared this truth extensively. You know, some people come here and tell me also that, you know, 
um, I, I'm talking nonsense because I don't know the Bible. I don't know this. But even logic alone, you know, if they, if they say that they're Christian and you watch and you read the Bible and you just Google, even if you Google alone where um, tithes was mentioned, just Google tithes in the, in the Bible and just read all the references to tithes and then ask the Holy Spirit to guide you, to tell you, you will know the truth. I mean, how much more maths can be done that if you, if hundreds of you, or even 10 of you, like the, the man um, analyzed here, that one of you give 10% of your work, you go out and work. And then you find one man that called himself a pastor, G.O., preacher, bishop, whatever, and says, oh, I'm connected to God for reasons. Honestly, I don't know why you even believe that. And, you know, I'm called, I'm a prosperity preacher. He said it himself. There was no proof in that, okay? And he's taking your money, and he's taking money of other people, even small, even if even if it's pittance from each of you, but it's taking pittance from a million of you. So even pittance from a million of you, it will still make him a millionaire. You know, those are just basic rudimental. They are rudimental of, of finance, of money, of growth, of, you know, so why can't we work it work that out? Why do we need other people to start telling us? It's just straightforward. But in any case, guys, let's just do this analysis today. But I want to read your comments today. God wants our bodies and then give us a gave as God lead us. Thank you very much, Stella. I think Stella is quoting what the gentleman says that, you know, it is much harder to give your body to Christ. You know, and when he says you give your body, it's not like you give your body to a woman or you give your body to a man in intimacy. No, but it's also an intimacy. No, but it's a, it's a different type of intimacy with God, which is like getting to know him, sharing your day to day, your second to second with him, making your relationship with God a lifestyle. You know, whenever you want to do anything, you think anything, you think God, you think does this glorify God or you just don't do that. You do whatever you want without even thinking about God, forgetting about God in your day-to-day -day activity. But go to work because work is a process. It's not God that is, God has already blessed everybody with work. He's already made the lands that we live in fertile. The earth is made it fertile enough for us to be able to find work in it. So, or you decide, okay, I don't want to give my body. I don't want to give my mind, but I will give 10% of what I have every day to exonerate me of that. And I think this guy is totally spot on. It's much harder for you to, to give your body to Christ. Yes, you're rather paying. You're bribing God. You're, you're, you're bribing God and God will not accept it. You can do it, but doesn't mean it's acceptable to Christ. So God give your tithes and say, oh, you'll be, uh, your land will be fair. You, your life will be great or you would prosper. It's all cock and bow. Seriously. It's total cock and bow. A lot of you will testify to it. How many years have you been paying tithes now? So how prosperous have you been? You know, or if you really want to test it, the litmus test is for you not to work at all. Give everything that you have. Begin, just keep giving everything that you have and don't work. And see if you'll be prosper. You won't prosper. It's all about principles. Okay? And God has laid out his principles. He's not going to change it for anybody. So if anybody is saying that you have to pay tight for you to be prosperous or for you to do well in your work or in your, in your business, bullshit. I am not ashamed to say that. Okay, be word of God led, not doctrines. That's Ambrose that is saying that. Moyasore says logic and sound reason will liberate a lot of people. Absolutely, Moyasore. Ayakos, the pastor says, give me your money and God will bless you. Why can't God bless them directly? Exactly. Ayakos, that is another thing. Spot on. Why, why do I have to give them my money for God to bless me? Why don't they go and give them, give my, their money as well? To me so that god will bless them what i mean wh what's going on why is it that me i have to give to them for god to bless me they should be giving to me as well so that god will bless them total nonsense you know it's just a scam so thank you very much um, guys for your comment let me do the analysis now because i want to finish uh, on time i don't want to i don't want to crash um clash with Dr. Sonny's program, and I just came back home. I've been out all day today, so I want to do other things as well. So please, I'm going to do this analysis like with the speed of, I don't know, I don't think I can do it with the speed of light. Um, I don't know. I'll do it at the speed of time, if, if that exists. I don't know. Let's go, guys. Thank you very much.
I do have the phone here, uh, Love Lounge calls, but um, I'm going to do mostly the analysis um, now. Here we go. Okay. High priest. This high priest is a man, but he is also God and was always God, but also became a man. His going spots have been of old. Okay, guys, I did this part yesterday, so I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to continue from where we stopped yesterday so we can um, progress on this uh, video. He showed himself alive to Abraham, to Moses, to Ezekiel, to the elders, to the patriarchs. Then he now came through a, a, a woman's womb, lived before us, died, got up after three days. He did not die permanently. Showed himself alive by many fallible proofs over 40 days, assembled the church together, commissioned them, told them they're blessed. And then he went up to heaven and said, wait here in Jerusalem for the promise of the Father. Who is the promise of the Father? The Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is the one who has all the promises. And he who has the promises is inside the believer. Yeah? He is now in heaven's highest. This is the organized church. This is the priesthood of all believers at its oversight level. Apostle, prophet, pastor, teacher, evangelist. Yeah. Do you get it? Oh, next week. I will leave that one for next week. Listen carefully. God created the universe. He took a tithe. The Milky Way. Okay, so this is where we're going. <laughs> I can't help but laugh. I just find it, Paul, I find you very ridiculous. You're totally ridiculous. What do you think your children are thinking? Your birth children. You know? Those children, if you send them to good school, they know the difference. It's totally... It, it, I mean, what are they going to think? You're breathing nuisance and you because you're acting like a nuisance here. God, uh, I, I just... This is so embarrassing. First, he took a tithe. The Milky Way, I want for next week. Listen carefully. God created the universe. He took a tithe. The Milky Way. Okay, God created the universe. It could took a tithe. The Milky Way. So God took from His money to send to Himself because you said that we're giving tithe to God. Okay, yeah. So He took His own money to send to Himself. Okay, that's fine. We can do that as well. So out of your salary or your earnings, take ten percent of your salary for yourself, everybody. Okay, so take it for yourself. Put it in your savings. Keep that ten percent. Don't touch it. So that's what we're going to go with this. All right. So let's assume Paul is even telling the truth. God uh, created the universe, and then He took a tight. He, uh, he took the tight called the galaxy. Okay, whatever, Paul. Let's go. God created the Milky Way. He took a tithe. The galaxy, our galaxy. Okay, the same Milky Way that God took a tithe from took a tight off from the universe. So how can God take Milky Way from the... I, this guy is, is confusing himself. How can God take something that he hasn't created yet from the universe? Because you already said that God took the Milky Way as a tide from the universe. But then how come on your second analogy of where God is taking um, tight, you're, you're now saying that he created that very Milky Way that is already collected. This guy is just messed up. I, I just don't, I, I don't get the sense in this. You know, are you that desperate, Paul? Are you that much of a fraudster that you have to even come boldly to the pulpit and do this? I already know that you don't fear God. You have no respect for God. I know that you don't have any conscience. Because if you have conscience, you will not have the audacity to get up and stand on the pulpit to lie to people in this way with tosh. Total gibberish you're speaking. So from universe, he has universe. So let's say universe is 100%. Because remember, he's already done his counting. Okay? So it's 100%. And in that 100%, God took a tithe, which is 10% from it, right? So that 10%, which you call a Milky Way, 
right? So the Milky Way is the 10% that got lifted from the universe of the 100%. Then that means that that Milky Way already existed in the universe because it was out of the 100% of the universe that God took the Milky Way, right? But now this guy now went on to say God created the Milky Way again. So he took it for, he took Milky Way from universe. Then he, had, he created, is it, um, is it now Milky Way version two? I just, it, the whole thing is messed up. Is this Milky Way part two? V, Milky Way V2? It's, you're just a nuisance. I can't even imagine world class people listening to this. I cannot imagine a sound minded person listening to this. Did, and then you stand up there, you have your, your suit and, you know, all clean shave. And yet, what, do you, what comes out of your coconut? Gibberish. I really don't get it. Just stop embarrassing yourself. You're a total nuisance for this behavior. Please, I'm asking you as somebody that actually care. Stop this. If you and your family want to believe this nonsense, Paul, believe it. But don't stop spreading this kind of dumbing down analogy, <clears throat> analogy of how God took and how God took it. It's ridiculous. Let's go, guys. God created the galaxy. He took a tithe, our solar system. God created our... So, now, so, God, so, so it means how many salary is this, okay? So, God created this. He took a tithe. He took their tithe from this. It's like those, you know, those of you that have like 10 jobs... And you're doing 10 jobs in a day. Well done to you. I think you're on the same category here. You know, you're taking from, from universe to get galaxy, from galaxy, from taking Milky Way. From, it's just ridiculous. This is bullshit. I don't know. Yeah, Milky Way 2.0, Moya, oh, well, sorry. It's nonsense. <clears throat> a solar system, you took a tie, planet Earth. God so God created the solar system. And took a tide to planet Earth. I'm sure if we check it, it's all the same thing. Seriously, if I don't even I don't even remember my science. This is elementary science. So this guy must have been reading some science book to the children and just mess it up. I don't know. Wait, what what's this all got to do with you taking my cash? Yeah? So even if God gave those, uh, those are planets that you're talking about. So let me give you planets then. Don't let me give you cash. God created other things. He created animals. He created all sorts of other things. Let's keep going. Planet Earth, he took a tithe. Israel, the fertile crescent, Israel. God created Israel, he took a tithe. Jerusalem, the capital city. God created Israel and took a tithe. Jerusalem, the capital city. When did they make Jerusalem a capital city? <laughs> Okay, all right. This must be a recent thing. This guy is a nuisance. Jerusalem, I don't even think it was a capital city. Or recognized as one. Hmm. Honestly, I, I, this is beyond me. It's beyond me. So you're even isolating the earth and then separating Jerusalem and Israel and Jerusalem from what God has created. So within the earth where God created Jerusalem, Jerusalem is on, is on the earth. Now you're breaking that down to even say that God took a tithe. So Jerusalem and took the capital city. You see how stupid this guy is? I've never even encountered anybody, anybody this, this, this much of a nuisance on the pulpit. I've never ever seen it before. So now God created earth. Jerusalem and Israel. Israel is, in, is, in, is on the earth. Jerusalem is on the earth. So just by bare name, that they're named by the people that lives in the country. Now this guy is saying that God created um, uh, Israel and took a tithe, Jerusalem. It's like that, it's like, it's, it's talking as though Israel and Jerusalem are not even in this, uh, is like Israel is not even on planet Earth. I, 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 do you understand? It's like Israel is in another planet. And the Mumu there because they, do, they haven't flown anywhere. They don't know what's going on. They just said, ah, yeah. God created, uh, uh, yes, yeah, so God created uh, Israel. He took a tide planet, uh, he could a tide Jerusalem, the capital city. Doesn't even make sense. I mean, what the heck? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm so, this is gibberish. Thank you, you for my, 
Very embarrassing to listen to. What a shame. Exactly. This Maureen, this is this is the worst manner of stealing. This is how you take chocolate from babies. Babies. This guy consider all the congregation as babies. People that don't use their brain that you need to help. It's babies that are vulnerable that you need to you need to help. You know? I I am it's just beyond me. Look at how he's talking about um, Israel and Jerusalem. It's, you would think that it's another planet. God created our solar system. He took a time. Planet Earth. God created planet Earth. God created our solar system. He took a time. Planet Earth. Oh my God. He took a time. Israel. The fertile crescent. Israel. But Israel is on Earth. Why is this guy a, such a criminal? You know, when God created um, created Earth... All these countries were just named by individual people, by nations. Oh my days. <laughs> God created Israel. He took a tithe. Jerusalem, the capital city, the city of David. God created Israel. I, I, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm dumbfounded. <sighs> this is where God landed. God created Jerusalem, he took a tithe. The temple now, God created... He said that God landed in Jerusalem. Yeah? Because Jesus was born in Jerusalem. Well done, good job. You went to Sunday school. Yeah? You listen in Sunday school. Well done, good job. You know? Jesus was in... His, there are billions of people that don't even know Jesus. They don't even know God. They don't even know anything, anything about the story of Jerusalem. What such manner of dingbat is this guy? <laughs> Richard said that members want revolution. Oh, yeah, I see galaxy. It's so sad. The temple now he took a tithe. The temple. God created the temple, he took a tithe. The Holy of Holies. God created the Holy of Holies using man's hand. The temple. God created the temple, he took David. The place where God landed. God created Jerusalem, he took a tithe. The temple now. God created the temple now, he took a tithe. The God created Jerusalem, he took a tithe. The temple now. Who am I hearing? <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Who am I hearing here? So, the Temple Mount that is in Jerusalem is the tithe that God took. That is just like going to... Am, am I hearing this right? Why is Adiboye and Oye not shutting this guy up with all the gibberish? I don't get it. So, the Temple Mount is like, okay, you live in... I don't know. You live in London. Oh, you live in, yeah, you live in London, Jerusalem, yeah? And your neighborhood, right? One neighborhood where they call the temple, well, it's not even a neighborhood. It's just a place, you know? It's just a place. So this, this it's, not even, it's not a neighborhood. It's not even a whole street. So that temple mount is God's... Ugh, God's tithe. Okay. The temple. God created the temple. He took a tithe. The Holy of Holies. God created the... God. God. This, uh, let me tell you. This guy is talking like he was with God. Like God was his great-grandchild. That he saw everything that was happening. And he's telling you what's going on. I, do, I don't get it. How anyone is listening to this. What's wrong with these people in, in, the, in the congregation? I don't get it. So now God created a temple and then he created, he, he took a tithe, the holies of holies. Is this guy okay? Maris, 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 Maris. I know that you've been brainwashed and I actually appreciate you for sharing your brainwashed touch. I think this is a good place for you to be, for you to get some knowledge and some understanding okay we're not judging anybody here we are making plain analysis we have sound mind and god wants us to use that sound mind to make analysis we're not mumu like you okay so if you want to unmumu yourself stay if you want to continue to be hello. mumu get out of here hello hold on please caller so do me a favor please get out right of here get out right, right here man <laughs> shit you know what i'm saying get in ebo so, do me a favor, please. Get out of here. 
Get out right, right here, man. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Get in Ibu. Sarah, bro. Sarah, bro. Okay, Kola. Hello. Thank you for calling. Please share your thoughts. Good evening. Good, evening. Good, evening. Good afternoon. Please share your thoughts. I'm fine. Are you? I'm good. Thank you. Ah, thank God for our land. Because these people have, they have, uh, they have tried their best. We thank God that we have been able to break out from their shackles and chains. You know? <laughs> I don't know whether he's preaching from the Holy Bible or he's preaching from his Mammoth Bible. I don't know. I don't where know. is this topic in the Holy Bible? I don't know where the chapter is quoting from. <laughs> I mean, the man is reading, <laughs> is he reading literature book? That's a good point you mentioned, you know, Elliot, because you, that is a very valid point and it's, it's a very simple thing as well. I don't know why we didn't even think about it. Even I myself did it. Why is it that the people in the congregation are not saying, okay, which Bible? How did you come to this revolution? Where, what, where, how did you get to this knowledge? Because I'm wondering that, okay, was this guy there and he was, God was telling him, and do this is what I'm doing. Was it with God? Like, you know, it, like God, it was, God was showing him that, oh, I did this, I did that. He, everything, there's nothing here that is in the Bible. He's just making it up from his head. You see, you see, you see, the problem, eh? I just, I've been thinking when uh, when uh, that the priest was online just now. I was listening to him. I did not know that it was this man he was talking about. Oh. So I I was following him up. Hmm. I have not heard about this. Whether whether I don't know what I would call this. Whether this is theology <laughs> because it's not in in a theology uh, 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 syllabus. What he's talking about. It's not in theology syllabus. It's not in I don't know where he's getting what he's teaching from. Whether it's from the spiritual world, I don't know. I think this man might, might be an astronomer. He's not. He's not a preacher. He just. He's just a four one nine. A graduated from four one nine. Absolutely. So uh, you, you see, like them, uh, they cannot even correct him because all of them are the same. They preach the same thing. You know. Yeah. So. They are not, this one is just, it's it just it, uh, devising people ideas, Foco mm -hmm. devising their focus to another, another realm yes, entirely. Yes, they yes. Are, in short, those people there in the congregation, all of them are lost. They don't know what the man is even talking about. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm just, It's just like when Chris Okoti was using his big grammar to deceive mm -hmm. people, you know? A lot of them will not. They will stay from morning to evening. They don't even know what the man is talking about. Mm. At Maybe. the end of it, they will say, "Bring your money and they collect the money and go away." Yes. So that is what they are doing. Thank you. So that is you know, a lot of them. That is what plug a lot of a lot of us, a lot of Nigerians into poverty. These are the people. Thank they will you. tell you, "Go and bring so so amount. Go and bring this. Go and bring that." They po they pocket it and drive their leathers away. Yes. You know. So I just pray that Nigerians begin to wake up and stand on their feet to challenge mm. all these men of God. They are they are among the people that destroy that nation. Yes. They, they are the people. The nation. They destroy They have destroyed everything. Hmm. Join with the, poli the, the 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 people in the political arena. So hmm. we just pray that uh, one day revelation will come and we wipe all these people out of the uh, out of the surface of earth so that they will go and destroy themselves in the empire but so that's where they belong to <laughs> thank I don't you think they belong to this earth thank you thank so you very that much that is just Elliot. my little contribution thank you very much i appreciate you Elliot. you know unlike you know um some i i don't subscribe to these people going to hell i don't really want them to go to hell i just want us to leave us the hell alone I'm, I'm, you're going to hell does nothing to me. It doesn't satisfy me at all, you know? So I don't care for you, Paul, Daddy G, it's not my daddy, uh, Enoch uh, Adeboye, um, or David Oyedepo, or any of you, Charlatan Chris, or Yakelome. I don't care for you to go to hell. What's your hell going to do for me? Uh, but you leaving people alone to use their sound mind so that they can make this world a greater place, this earth. A greater place by releasing the they releasing the purpose and the packages that God has given them. Yes, that has something for me. 
and I work towards that. I want everybody to be liberated. But your hell, I care less. I don't want you to go to hell. It does absolutely nothing for me. Seriously, I don't. You know, I, I never pray that you should go to hell or anything too bad, anything bad should happen to you. Just let the people go. Let the people go and use their sound mind. Let them go and use the purpose and the talent that God has given them. Please. Somebody wrote here, and I was wondering, I've wanted to say for days now, look at the poor guy that is behind him. The guy is despondent. He's so tired of hearing this BS. The guy don't even understand what's going on. <laughs> you know, I know the feeling. Yo, he's tired. He's fed up. Mm -hmm. Hello, Cola. Hello, Cola. Hello, Cola. Oh, that's cut off again. All right, so guys, let's go. <clears throat> let's go with the analysis. All right, okay, I read something here. David is saying, Maiwa, thanks for liberating us, but is it part of God's nature to be calling people all sorts of, of, um, of manner of name, I think he's saying? No, it's not part of God's nature. You know God's nature. You know, I don't pretend to be God, and I don't pretend to um, be perfect in my behavior or my language i am learning also okay but if i know that something is wrong i will share it thank you for sharing that my language but your focus really should be the people that are scamming your father in heaven not my language my language is not going to do anything for you but when they scam you they scam your father they scam they when they scam your father in heaven and then they scam you it affects your life and it affects the earth okay my language is not going to do jack all to you so stop wasting anybody's time by focusing on my language. My language does nothing to you. And if you want it to do something to you, continue. That's your problem. But I just want to tell you that don't waste your time on my language, the language that I'm using. Focus on the people that are scamming your father in heaven and scamming you in the process and subduing you on earth. Here, I, this is for you. What's your name, David? Here, fellow, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Get out of here. <laughs> I'll just play it once. Maris is saying that merely listen to his teaching, you can tell that he doesn't know what he's preaching. So if you know he doesn't know what he's preaching, Marius, why how come I can't see your video out or your an audio or you shouting and saying this is not from God? Why are you coming to me to tell me that I'm using some language and blah blah blah? You see how much of a ding back to you are as well, Maris? You know, I'm not, I'm not your pretending holier than holy, uh, pretending, uh, you know, I don't do this, I don't do that. Just shut your mouth and listen, learn some lesson. If you know that he's talking trash, why don't you come out and tell everybody that he's talking trash? Why are you keeping quiet? Are you a true child of God? Or you're just one of those mumu? -mu? Go or even go and tell him. Or tell him, write him a letter, write him an open letter and saying his chair is starting gibberish. Yet you can come and say, oh, yeah, man, what are you doing? Man, 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 man. Get out of here. This is for you, Marius. You and David. I, I, Do me a I, you and David, David and Marius, and now pronounce you husband and wife. Get out Please. of here. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Get in the book. Get out of here for real. You know what I'm saying? Get out of here for real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, get out of here for real. Anyway, guys, uh, that was a little bit of distraction there. Let's go. Let me go back. The Holy of Holies, using man's hands, he took a tithe, the seat of mercy, the ark of the covenant. This guy is full of crap. The seat of mercy, and then he took a tithe, the ark of the covenant. Who do you talk? I think this guy has got people in his head. He's got people in his head. He's got a, he's got a whole kingdom in his own head. He's living in a cocoon of his own head. Him, I mean, you know that this is recorded, right? Paul, you know that this is going to be shared with millions of people around the world, if not billions of people, that would see and see how much of a dingbat you are. It, it means that you must have lied to yourself that you're making sense. For you to boldly come out and talk trash like this. It was a pattern. Of the seat of mercy in heaven. God created all species of it was a pattern of the seat of mercy in heaven. So now he's saying that it's now a seat of mercy. 
okay this is a seat of mercy for you to be collecting tights look at this guy ah this guy's brainwash people with nonsense too much it's too much uh -uh. jesus hmm. he took a tithe the family of god which is comprised of angels god created all species of being he took a tithe the family of god which is comprised of angels okay so god created all species of being on earth and then he took a tithe from i mean this is the god that created everything it's like the ceo already okay he's the one that's generating all of these things and after that generating all of these things he's taking a tithe from what is generating for himself so i therefore declare you go and work make your products and services you know prefer solutions to the world and then you take 10 percent of what you do and then keep it for yourself to do as you wish stop paying that 10 percent to no jackass on the pulpit enough is enough no clown on the pulpit no pulpit bandit keep it to yourself like he said god created all these things he's taking time from everything that he's created for himself who are you paying time to if you pay tight to your pastor, that means your pastor is your Lord and personal savior. No longer God. Don't come to God if you have problem. Go to your pastor and go and beg your pastor to help and release you from your problem. Negate God. You're, in fact, you've already negate God by you giving money to your pastor because that's your Lord and personal savior. God created all those things as according to Paul and gave himself 10%. You form, it must be hallucinating. He must be. He must be totally hallucinated. What are you taking? What do you smoke, Paul? I don't understand. You better leave that thing alone. Whatever you're smoking is not doing you no good. Ridiculous. He took a tithe. The family of God, which is comprised of angels, the living, and the dead in Christ. Look at, you look at the people that he called the family of <laughs> This guy, honestly, oh, you know what? I I need to, I, I I want to close very soon because I don't want to, I don't want five o'clock to meet me here. I really want to finish this program. So guys, please, I I I'm sorry about myself. I'm sorry for myself the way I'm laughing. It's just a joke. <laughs> look at the look at the family of God. Let's see. Let's hear his body of God. He said it comprises of what? Let's see. Um, <laughs> Which is comprised of angels, the living, and the dead in Christ. So the family of God are the angels, the living, and the dead in Christ. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Paul, seriously. The angels, the living, and the dead in Christ. Do you have to, so who else is left? Um, who else is left? The, the, the angels, the living, and the dead in Christ. Who else is left on earth? You know, this guy is just, is, is such a hot mess. Seriously, I've never seen such a mess before. <laughs> I don't understand. Adejima has already, has also put the people, join McCrine with Elizabeth tomorrow to continue the expose, uh, expose of this charlatan. What time, Adejima, let people know what time so that they can join them. <clears throat> and on what uh, page as well. <clears throat> God created the family of God. He took a tithe. Israel. Uh, are you going back to that again? Uh, uh, the, excuse me, I am... Um, I believe God has already taken a tithe from Israel before Jerusalem. So now God has now again created a family of God and took a tithe Israel again. This is double accounting. Oh, this one is taking money to to. <laughs> I I didn't even hear this one before. Can you believe? Ah, ah. Ah, ah. Thank you, David. He's total rubbish. What is he doing? God own everything, which equal hundred percent. Why is he then taking time? <laughs> David, I don't understand. Did you see how this guy is is manipulate? Is is talking rubbish, gibberish. 
He already said that God created Israel and took a tight um, Jerusalem, right? The capital city where God landed, right? Do you remember a few minutes ago? Not even a few minutes, like a minute ago. Now, it's now double taking that Israel again. He said that God created the people. Ah. <laughs> I, I, I don't understand. Am I the only one hearing this one? No, I won't hear it alone. Let's hear it together again. God created the family of God. He took a tithe. Israel. God created Israel. Okay. God created a family of God. He took a tithe. Israel. But you already said God took a tithe from Israel. God created Israel. Tithe has already been taken from Israel. Israel is already a tithe at some point before. And then when... This guy is so confused. Okay, for like a, I did. I did. That was the first thing I did. I let the video run fully. But because I'm doing the analysis, that's the reason why I'm stopping now. But I'm going to play this one again. Of the seat of mercy in heaven. God created all okay, species. Okay, hold on. You know what I'm going to do? Because of Falake, I'm going to play the part where we started from today with the analysis so that you can hear it yourself. And I won't interrupt up to where we are now, okay? Do you get it? Oh, next week. I will leave that one for next week. Listen carefully. God created the universe. He took a tithe. The Milky Way. God created the Milky Way. He took a tithe. The galaxy. Our galaxy. God created the galaxy. He took a tithe. Our solar system. God created our solar system. He took a tithe. Planet Earth. God created the planet Earth. He took a tithe. Israel. The fertile crescent. Israel. God created Israel. He took a tithe. Jerusalem. The capital city. The city of David. The place where God landed. God created Jerusalem, he took a tithe. The temple mount. God created the temple mount, he took a tithe. The temple. God created the temple, he took a tithe. The holy of holies. God created the holy of holies using man's hands. He took a tithe. The seat of mercy, the ark of the covenant. It was a pattern of the seat of mercy in heaven. God created all species of being. He took a tithe. The family of God, which is comprised of angels, the living, and the dead in Christ. God created the family of God. He took a tithe. Israel. God created Israel. The Israelis took a tithe. Levi. Okay, you see, this, this doesn't make sense. So earlier, when God created earth, he created Israel. He, he took a tithe called Israel, right? And then he took Israel again. He created Israel again after he taking a tithe called Israel from earth. Then he created Israel and and um took a tie from israel called jerusalem and then jerusalem the temple man then the temple then the holy of holy and all that then he went but then he came to god created all species and it comprises of angels i took a tithe um and it comprises of angels living and the dead which is total crap okay because that's basically everybody you know both um angels and the living i mean living the living and the and the dead in christ you know, they're living, they are on earth. I, I, I don't know, maybe they're uh, nuisance. That is the tide that God took, the dead in Christ. Okay. And then he says, God created um, the family. So those are the, after all species and then the family. And then he mentioned Israel again. How many times did you just forget? Did you just forgot what you said like a few seconds ago? What is wrong with you, Paul? You said Israel, like already you mentioned Israel twice. Israel. God created Israel, the Israelis, took a tithe, Levi. In the so God that already created Israel earlier and took Jerusalem, then he, are, he created Israel again and then created and took a tithe, Levi. Israeli and then Levi. I, I mean, this, I mean, this guy, this can be taken to court that this guy is a fraudster. Seriously. This can be taken to court. Any country that have law and order, they should call this guy to account for what the gibberish that he's saying. How many times did God created Israel that he took a tithe, Jerusalem, and then he created Israel again, and then took a tithe, the Israelites, and then with the Israelites, it's, it's, it's just, oh, this is just too much. 
tithes. God created the family of God. He took a tithe. Israel. God created Israel. The Israelis took a tithe. Levi. In another conjecture or in another reality, God created humanity. He took a tithe. The church. Okay, so the Israel and the Israelites and all those people, they're not humanity. They're not part of humanity. Your, your, your um, number six up there is shrinking by the second. And you're trying to shrink mine. And I wouldn't allow you to shrink my, my own head. My brain is sound. Okay? I received that from God. God gave it to me and me too. I, I work it well. Right? Okay? So, I'm not going to take none of this nonsense that you're saying. All this bullshit about galaxy. God created this. He created a Tosh, you're a liar. You're a fraudster, Paul. Absolute fraudster. Unless you can explain what you're saying and make sound sense like a human being, then we'll know what we're talking about. But it's not possible. It's not. What are you saying? So Israelites was not. They were not humanities. Who? What are they then? What are the Israelites? Oh, Jesus. Exactly, Ola Duni. Why is that the Pharisees God taking, taking, taking? Is is an opposition to God because He says that He gave. Why the Pharisees saw that God is a taker, 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 taker. He takes everything. They don't serve the same God that we serve. They don't serve the Almighty God. My God is not your God. Clearly, my God is God Almighty. Are the Pharisees? Who the heck is your God? I'm not interested, by the way. But our God is not for sale. Our God, my God, is not for sale. Stop trying to bamboozle us with foster language and all this galaxy. It's nonsense. Total gibberish. God created the church, took a tithe. The eldership, God created the Judas, Judas goat. It's not me that said it to It's Sam that said it. <laughs> Okay, yes, Paul. Somebody said that you're a Judas goat. Ah, you see your life? You see your life now? Because you're talking nonsense. So they can describe me like a goat. Because by force, by force, you're going back to the tight issue with nonsense. The eldership took a tight, the apostle, God created the church, took the head of the church, Christ. God, God created the church, took a tight, the eldership, God created the eldership, took a tight. Okay, God created the church and took a tithe, the eldership. Here, you know, he's trying to bamboozle us with also, and then he's speeding the eldership. Blah, blah, blah. Who are the eldership? Who made you eldership, for God's sake? Who made Adebo ye eldership? Who made Adebo eldership? God, who, who made you eldership? What is eldership? Elders of the church, thank you. So God took the tithe, and the tithe is the elders in the church. Abby? Hmm? Hmm? I have never seen this kind of thing back before. The apostle, God created the church, took the head of the church, Christ. Uh -uh. Uh, okay, I'm not hearing this one right. Though. So God even took the head of the church, Christ, as a tithe. Okay. Apostle, God created the church, took the head of the church, Christ. Another you see there, he's trying to bamboozle. It's not really clear. He doesn't know what he's talking about. You know, this is what frosters do. They speak loud, they speak low when they know that what they're saying is not really right. So he's talking under his tongue. So God took love of eldership. And then he would just increase the volume. God, eldership. You know, he's a liar. He's a liar. Look at what he's doing there. Watch his body language. God created the church, took a tithe. The eldership. God created the eldership, took a tithe. The apostle. God created the church, took the head of it. You see? You see, God created the tithe, he took the uh, eldership, and then God gave him. It's like he's got a hot, hot something in his, in his mouth. He's a liar. We know. We know every, all your antics. We know them. Okay? All you cabals and your antics, we know all of them. All, everything that you do, we know, we can see. We have sound mind. God created us with a sound mind. And God made us solid. So enough is enough. We've been quiet for a long time because we're giving you a long rope. Okay? Now you use your long rope to do whatever you like for yourself. Now, you see, everybody can say it's just total nonsense. 
God created the gong 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 That's all I'm gonna 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 that's all I'm hearing because you want to steal money from people because you want to take what you did not work for because you know you want to take what you did not deserve Paul you know you want to take from people that hard working all over the world you want to claim right to their 10% their earnings that they sweat for you don't want to sweat for it what you did not work for you want to eat it it's not possible let me tell you you gotten gains they never last let me tell you it's not a curse so i'm just telling you as i say it anything you do on this earth will come back to you okay so don't think for one second or relax on your bed or wear your suit and think hey i've arrived because i just fall on nine people you're joking you are joking i'll tell you that total joking your time is up Time out. Paul Ade Farasin and all the rest of the charlatans. Your time is up. Enough of gagging people. Enough of holding people hostage mentally. Enough of the lies and deception. We've had enough. We're not going to take it anymore. And this is just warning period. We're still doing one more for you. Okay? This is one more period. Alright? So don't get excited at all. Stop this nonsense. Stop it! Totally ridiculous. Ah, ah. Just because you want to steal from people, you have no regard from God. You have to lie on God and tell all manners of nonsense. And some mumu will come here and tell me that I'm insulting, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Did, don't you feel offended the way this guy is lying about your father in heaven? If you're a true believer, you believe in Christ. Is this the Christ that you believe in? That is using to camouflage fraud, fraud behavior? This is a fraudster. Total nonsense. Church, Christ, another tithe. A tithe? Christ is another tithe. In fact, these people, they don't care what you do. They, in, lay, ah, they don't care. Christ is another tithe. God created, and first he said that God landed on earth in Jerusalem, right? Right? And Christ was the one that is born in Jerusalem. So now this guy is now saying that he's even now using himself. Christ has now used himself. God has now even used himself and paying himself as tight. This, this one's level of, of grace is another thing. Is another thing, no? Do you remember? He said that God landed in Jerusalem, the city of David, right? That is why he, where he landed. He took ten percent there. So now God have now again is now Christ because he's one, okay? Has now used himself to has now taken another tithe, which is Christ. Total got him out, Oladoni. I don't let you miss the law. You have to watch it back. You have to watch it later. Apostle, God created the church. Took the head of the church, Christ, another time. Ah. So God took the head of the church, Christ, another time. So God took himself and then he turned himself into tithe so that a uh, day Pharisee can chop. Can you imagine? God doing thank you. God doing said you should get yourself a job at the Pharisee. This one is disgraceful. Hmm. Hmm. Tithe, a tithe. The tithe now takes a lamb. Under Levi, the lamb he would take would be animated species. A lamb. Meh. Ah, look at this guy. He's talking about meh. Lamb he would take would be an concrete church. The head of the church, Christ, another tithe, a tithe, a tithe. The tithe now takes a lamb. Under Levi, the lamb he would take would be animated speech. So the now the the tithe now Christ now now take a lamb, and under Levi, the the tithe it will be is a lamb, is a lamb, man, man. Honestly, I, is, is there any point in me analyzing the rest of this? Total gibberish. Let's listen anyway. 
a lamb. Amen. But in the new covenant, our lamb was also. Okay, so the new covenant, so it said now, so in the new covenant, yes. Oh God, for he had told Abraham, I will provide myself as the lamb. So what we see on earth is a tithe, holding a tithe. So you see how this guy is just, this is exactly what 419 does. This guy, you're a froster, Paul. This is a froster's behavior. You, you're saying that God is now becoming a tithe. Okay, you see how confusing is that? That is okay. If God has been a tight and is the holies of holies and the tight of tight of tight and is all rolled up in one, like you're going to explain now. Why then am I paying tight? And why am I going to do even more than God Himself has done? Because He's done it all, there's nothing for me to do anymore. He it is finished, He said. Going into a tight. Look at how he's just mesmerized the mumu. Look at them clapping. Hmm? I'm done. I'm sorry. I'm done for you. I'm done. I'm just going to let you keep on gibberishing. Hmm? It causes an explosion which, in which God says, I will open the heavens. I will pour you out such blessing you won't have room enough to receive it. You will not cast your young before their time. The devourer is rebuked. He will not destroy the fruit of your vine. Other nations will call you blessed and I will make you a delightful land. Okay, God has already done that. And that is when you'd work, okay? So you to go and work. All those things that you said, God has already done it. To manifest it, if you're listening, you, to manifest those things, you have to work. You have to be skillful. You have to provide a product or service that is needed and it is useful. Okay? Not needed, there are two things there. Needed and useful to society, to your environment, to your community. If you don't have all of those things, if you don't have a component of needed and useful product or services, you're not, you're not going to get any of those things. You can't just sit in your house and say, God said that he would open heaven and this is without doing anything. Those are based on you using your purpose and your talents that God has already put in you and you and, and make, and bringing it forth for the world to enjoy. That's where the needed and useful comes in. And that's where the heavens are open. But the heavens are already open, Paul. It has already opened. You just need to receive it by us taking actions. Stop trying to bamboozle anybody here, okay? We don't need your nonsense anymore. Huh? You know, I, it's enough. It's enough. Because a tithe, carry the tithe to the tithe. Because a, because a tithe carried a tithe to the tithe. Look at this nonsense. Who are you fooling? Yourself. You fool nobody, Paul. You're fooling yourself. You're fooling no one else. A car, a tithe, carry the tithe to a tithe. Then you be the one to be the tithe that carries the tithe to the tithe. Don't tell me that I have to carry a tithe to the tithe to the tithe. Jesus has already carried it and I'm happy with that. Okay? I am satisfied with God carrying the tithe for me. Alright? And he's been a tithe, running a tithe to the tithe. But you, if you want to be a slave and you want to do, you want to regress back, then you carry the tithe to the tithe to the tithe and do whatever you want to do with it. I know what I need to do to be blessed because God has already blessed me. But to manifest the blessings, I know what I need to do. I need to work hard. I need to prefer solutions. I need to prefer, I need to give products and services that are needed and useful in society. I need to look for problems in society and solve those problems. Not, not standing on the pulpit and chatting nonsense. Total gibberish to unsuspecting gullible audience. It's ridiculous. You should be ashamed of yourself. Total shame. You're a complete nuisance on the pulpit. You're nothing less than a bandit. In heavenly realities, the tithe is the throne room of God, the seat of grace. The tithe is the throne room of God, the seat of grace. Really? Really? Look at how this guy is just messed. So where are the David and the Z and Maria or whatever her name is? You're not feeling insulted by this guy just lying on your father in heaven. You're not feeling angry. You're not feeling like, okay, well, this is wrong. I need to tell the whole world that this is a lie. So you're sitting there and saying, okay, this guy can just mess up my father. He can do whatever he likes with my father. You're not even feeling any, anything. Shame on you guys too. Shame on all of you.
that are not even seeing that there's anything wrong in this. He just lie on the Father in heaven. Not the seat of law, not the seat of judgment, the seat of grace. Grace did not explicate judgment. It satisfied judgment. Okay, then he's already satisfied everything. You know, so he's not going to judge me if I don't play for, if I don't pay you tight or pay anybody tight. Because grace already exists. I mean, what is this? What, this guy just contradicted himself. I'm tired of him. I'm seriously tired. Please, we've only got one minute and a few seconds left, and I'm, I'm done with, with this guy. You're a nuisance, Paul. Total nuisance. So that he could provide mercy to you and I. Hallelujah. For mercy jumped in the way when judgment said I will strike. Mercy said strike. This me. one is all FPC, I beg. For mercy, giant away. You know all those pastors that do all they do all those drama in the church. <clears throat> I'm tempted to stand <coughs> to stand up. This time, oh, and my father did the look, drama. Please put the drama down because you want to chop my money. Even if you're going to do drama, do drama to demonstrate true love of Christ to me. Don't do drama to chop my money. You know, let me let me use my money. I have sound my God that created you, created me. You see all this drama that he's doing? You so that he can take your money. Look at the hard, look at the hard work that you're doing on the pulpit, running elter skelter because you want to manipulate people. Paul, don't you feel tired yourself? Eh? Set up a business that is useful and needed. I know you've already chopped some people's money. The money that you've already chopped, use that money to, see, to do something that is needed and useful for society. Don't waste your time doing this anymore. It's ridiculous. How long are you going to be doing this for now? Conjoin all sorts of manipulative things and lies and deception just so that you can rob these gullible people that are listening to you. How long are you going to do it for? Do you know that God has created you with beautiful things that you can give the world and the world will thank you for? Now your name will be one of the scammers. People will hear your name and say, oh, that scammer, that gibberish guy, that galaxy guy. You see how you spoil yourself by yourself. Nobody even have to do it for you. Because of money, little money that you're going to chop like this from everybody. You want to take small, 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 small for everybody and make your own pocket fat. You disregard God. God doesn't matter. God is forgiving. And you're scamming people. Running out of skeleton on the pulpit. Ah, shame on you. Seriously. Shame. And mercy took the blow. But mercy is not stronger than, or judgment is not stronger than mercy. Spirit mercy is not stronger. The judgment is not stronger. What's all this? What's all this? Mercy is not stronger. What's all this? Went down to the ground. But because mercy is stronger than judgment, mercy came back alive again and said, Judgment has been satisfied. Therefore, man, you are acquitted, and I proclaim you the righteousness of God in Christ. Exactly. So shut up and get out of the way. You and all the rest of the cabals. So if that's already happened, then what, what am I doing? Why am I paying for everything? Why am I paying seats for this? Why am I paying tithes? You know, it is finished, like Jesus said. You know, this is contradiction. This guy is using true and half-truth, you know? And half-truth is really dangerous. So he's manipulating people. Look at them. They're standing there. You know, they, 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 ah, the people are confused. They can't ask any question. This, that's another thing. How do you ask questions in an environment like this? This guy is chatting gibberish. He's not giving people up. Church has to change. If you have to go to a building that you go and listen to another man like you, and you would sit there and you listen, there's something wrong with you. And you cannot ask questions. There's no room for dialogue. Your brain has been seared. Unlock your own brain. I'm sorry if I'm shouting for some people, Okay. I'm not really sorry that I'm shouting, to be frankly honest with you. <laughs> I'm not. But, you know, just wake up. Smell the coffee. If you have to go and sit down, listen to this. Is there opportunity for this guy to explain himself? To Even in countries that have common sense, countries that are operating with justice and uh, equity, they do not... They, they will take the parliamentary um, uh, pe people, they will take them to the... 
uh, you know, they have this sitting where they sit down. In England, is the parliament. They have like the House of Commons. They ask questions. They put their points forward. This guy is just telling you gibberish, and you're sitting down. Why is what is the, what is the what is churches going for you in life? You are they just diluting. They just putting things in your head without you having an opportunity to ask questions, to analyze, to rub minds together. That is what God did. Even Jesus said that, let's rub mind together. Now this one is bringing his coconut mind of, of gibberish to manipulate you to get your money. Now your own mind is there, sleeping and thinking, oh, is this guy, is, is, what, what's this guy saying? What should I do? What are you going to church for? Why are you going to church? Why are you going to a building where one man, that the same God that created you, created, and you believe that that one is created with a sounder mind than you, and you're created with a lesser mind. So you go and sit down for that, that man to tell you everything, without questioning, without analyzing, just clapping, ready to chew up everything. That's why you have to go for people that have sound mind to teach, people that knows how to teach, who people that are ready to respond to you. You can't go and sit with this one. You go, if you think I'm wrong, go and ask your pastor any questions. Write to Daddy Gio and say that this is the question that you have for a long time. Can he explain it? He won't even reply you. And then you guys will be talking tosh. Oh, Dr. Sunday, he will still hear you out. Seriously. Please, guys, let's do this. Don't be afraid of no man. Help yourself. Now it's downloaded all that rubbish into people's mind. So what are they going to do now? So you all leave, 100% of those people don't understand what's, what is just said. They're just clapping for nothing. Why are you doing that? Why are you wasting your life? Eh? Write to Oyedepo and say you don't understand something. Let him explain it to you. Put your hands up in the church and say you want to ask a question and see if the the best case scenario they will tell you that um you can you can see me after church there's protocol protocol my seriously i just don't understand nana thank you i don't get it why did we spend so many years of our lives sitting down at the pews listening to touch nuisance like this why Please wake up, people. Wake up. I just can imagine God. I can imagine if I created people or if I, if I created anything. And the things that I created, they abandoned my, my, um, my manual of how to operate. And they just don't do nothing. He just sits there. He refused to work. He refused to ask questions. He refused to be free. That he did as a tithe, carrying a tithe to the tithe, which is the mercy seat. And there he said to the father, it is finished. It is all done. Therefore, my friend, because God's tithe. Look, he's giving himself accolade. Nobody is understanding something. Like, oh, that's what they do. It's like, oh, ee. you're talking tosh. We know your game. We know all your yahoo yahoo drama way. This is yahoo yahoo drama. We know all of those things. You, everybody is quiet. He's giving his up, and the mumu as well. They started shouting and clapping. This is disgraceful. Africa, wake up, wherever you are, and there's somebody has taken your mind and manipulated you to do with deception. Free yourself right now, please. Free yourself. You don't need any anointing, you don't need anybody touching you, you don't need anything like that. Free yourself from the bondage of mental slavery that these people have adopted over the years and they're inflicting you on. They're inflicting on you. Please free yourself. It will benefit you. It will benefit the whole world for you to free yourself. Know thyself. Love thy God. This is ridiculous. Ah. <sighs> He gave his best. What's wrong with you giving your best? Yes, he's already given his best on my behalf. Jesus gave his best. God gave his best on my behalf. 
There is nothing that I have that is greater than what God has already given me and the rest of the world. He is already sacrificed God. He's already sacrificed Jesus. God did everything I could possibly want. I have no want for this world. No need for this world. Everything is okay. It's need that I have no. I have no need. All I have is just want. And that is due to the society that I live. When I do what God wants me to do and feel my fulfill my purpose, there's nothing that I need that I cannot have. I already even have it. I possess all these things already. Why should I have to pay when somebody has already paid on my behalf? Eh? I don't get it. I'm perplexed by how many people take this nuisance as their Lord and personal Savior. I am perplexed. It's very clear, very glaring. Please, guys, we need you in this world. We need you to use your sound mind. The world did you. You were created on this earth because God knows that he needs you to propagate his kingdom here on earth. He has given you sound mind. He has equipped you with purpose for what this earth needs. You don't need no middleman that's charged gibberish like this. In fact, you don't need any middleman. Any middleman is not needed at all. I'm going to finish now because the Sunday is going to start in four minutes. And because he gave his best, you have the best. But I don't want you. So I have the best. So what am I doing then? I already have the best. This is a half truth preacher. To have the best and never possess it. Why should I not? If I already have it, I already possess it. I have it, I possess it. All of me is the best. The best from the master craft. You know? That is me. Everything I have is the best. Who I am is the best. Because I'm created by the best. What is this guy talking about? He's making you, you don't want them to possess it. Can you love me more than Jesus loved me? We, this guy is a lie. He's saying that I, I don't want you not to possess it. Do you think that Paul Lade Farrison cares about you? Either you possess it or not? Do you, if you if you didn't eat last night, does he know if you didn't eat or you if you eat, if you ate or you didn't? This guy is a liar. Did you see what he just did there? I don't want you not to possess it. You you don't care about anybody. You just want to take from them. God gave. You even said it yourself. God gave. If you want to do anything, give me. Give. Give the world, give the needy, give the destitute, give the orphans, give the widows. Don't ask to take and say you don't want them to possess. You don't, I don't want them, you don't, I don't want you not to possess. Yes, I already have it. If I already have it, I already possess it. It's already mine. I don't need you to tell me that. You have to look at these people in the face and tell them that you know what they're doing. You know what they're doing. It's ridiculous. Uh -uh. Thank you. To have the best and never possess it. It is not your position for you to help me to possess anything. I possess it already. My father in heaven has already given it to me without anything. He's already died for me. Jesus died for me. He's done the ultimate sacrifice. I don't need your help, okay? So piss off, all right, Paul? You and all the talented, all of you, piss off. We're not interested, all right? Move on. To the left. You have to possess your possession. Take your possession. Learn the time. Shut up! I already possess my possession. Who do you help? Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Get in the book. Get out of here for real. You know what I'm saying? Get out of here for real. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, I'm saying. Get in Ibu. Say that, Yes, Paul, get out of here. 
We finished the video now. My final scripture. Thank you, gentlemen. We're not interested in your final scripture. Please go and sit down. Nuisance. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. I'm sorry I came really late. I appreciate you. I love all of you. Thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget, tomorrow is the call in for um, Akintayo Emmanuel. This one is another cabal in USA, in Maryland. And we're going to have people that have attended this church or the children has been brainwashed. It's actually a cult that the children has been brainwashed. You watched that program last week. That was last Friday. If you haven't, check it out on YouTube. It's also on Facebook. Um, just Google um, Mayowa Olaya. And or you can just go directly to YouTube, Maya Walai, and you'll find the video of the call in of members of or a member at least called, and all, or also people that their family or the daughter. There's a particular lady that called the daughter was manipulated, has still been manipulated by this man, Akintayo Emmanuel. Uh, he called himself, I think, James, James Emmanuel. Um, the banner is going to be out, I will put it out after this program. And it was out as well. So share this banner and let those people call as well. It's, it's about a particular church in Maryland or a particular pastor that's brainwashing people. And, and um, it's, the whole system is like a cult. And it's usually young people, very young people that is manipulating. It's really gruesome. Anyway, thank you very much. I have to go. I've really gone past my time. Mwah! I love you guys, and I'll see you again tomorrow. It was going to be 1 o'clock, I hope, tomorrow. It's definitely going to be our usual time, okay? I, I'm really going to make it our usual time. If not, then latest will be 3. Thank you. Bye, guys.